Welcome to this edition of Rock Kitchen. It is your boy Rock coming at you with another meal, as we know that is VSG friendly. Now, VSG, vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I'm going to jump right into this because I haven't had it in a while, and every now and then I got to get back to some of the originals. Now, I did this recipe once way back in the day. I called it the skinny fajita. We're going to do this a different way. We're going to use our hands today. All right, we're going to we're going to we're going to go back to the to the caveman days, if you will. And we're going to go crazy. We're going to use our hands instead of using tortillas. We're going to roll these babies up. We're going to put them in and we're going to bite, bite, bite. It's that simple. All right. You're probably saying like, what in the world is Rocky talking about today? Well, I'm talking about we're going to do a fajita when we're going to use the chicken itself as the tortilla or as our host to hold everything. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's get right into it. What we got is our peppers and our onions. Now, very crucial to a, a uh, mix there. We're just going to toss them right in. Now, the key thing, guys, I don't want this to get overcooked. Don't want that to get overcooked whatsoever because we want this to be able to get into... Yes, I'm using my fingers. We want this to get into our chicken rolls that we're going to be doing. So let's jump right into this here. We're going to make our fajita seasoning or taco seasoning, whatever you call it, it's what I call it. Now, you guys are going to ask me for measurements. You know there's no such thing in the kitchen. But I'm going to go about this because we're going to go half first, half later, about two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of cumin. Another two of chili powder. Not going to go too deep with this. Probably about a tablespoon of garlic. Same thing with our onion powder. We're going to go about a tablespoon of garlic powder, I mean an onion powder. Now my personal fave, some oregano. I have no clue. I'm shaking until I can't shake no more. Just want to get it in there. So what was that, four tosses? That's what it was, four tosses. And here we go with a little bit of some of that cayenne flavor, baby. We got here some, some cayenne pepper. Don't need too much of that. Uh, just about a teaspoon of that. Some people don't like it too hot in this household. I like it hot. We'll mix that up now. I'm going to throw a little pinch, just a dash of the salt. Mix that up. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. So now that we have it mixed up, we're going to do half on this right now. All right, half on our peppers and onions. And we're going to save the other half, guys. There we go. We're going to save the other half for our chicken. Mix that up now. Remember what I said. Do not, do not put this to where it's too limp. You don't want that. You don't want to be too soft in there, all right? You guys really want to get this just a little bit cooked. I'm going to now bring the chicken over and you'll see what I mean. We're going to roll the chicken up within this, throw it in the oven. When it's in the oven, that's when it's going to do all its miracle work. Let, it, let, the, let the oven do its magic. All right, we got a chicken. We're ready to go. Remember what I told you? Don't go so much on this, on your peppers and, and your onions. You want to make those little hard, hard. Where am I from? Boston? Hard. You want to make those hard? Did you park the car? I don't know where I got that from just now. Anyway, here we go. We're going to take our fajita mix. We're going to sprinkle it. You're just going to sprinkle it. Now, someone's probably out there saying, you could do it an easier way. Of course you can. But what fun is that? I want to get busy in my kitchen. All right, all this just wants to have fun. We're going to flip Stop. these over. All right, because you're going to use that side as your seasoning side. You want to make that look all pretty when the time comes. So we just flippy, flippy. We smack it up, flip it, and we rub it down. Oh, no. Here we go. We're going to put them in just like so. I'm trying to 
get this thing here just right though. I don't know if any of you guys ever rolled a cigarette, but basically that's what you're going to be trying to do here. You're emulating rolling of a cigarette. So, instead, and by the way, guys, just want to say to you, I have washed my hands, but that's the beauty of editing television is that you don't have to see me wash my hand every time I touch the chicken. If I'm about to touch the chicken again. There'll be a pause. I'll come back. Hands will be washed. Okay. Here we go. We take this to the side. Just want to add a little bit more there. And we're simply going to roll this baby up. Just like that. Now, if need be, which in this particular case here doesn't look like I need it to be, but we would uh, we could put a, a, a toothpick, a skewer in there, if you will, like a kebab type holder. I don't know what you guys call it in different parts of the country, so that's why I'm, you know, kind of all over the place. So just like so. Boom. Look at that piece fell out. We're going to put it right on here. I got enough where I, I was being a little sparingly here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put these bad boys right in the oven, all right? At 400, ah, in we go. Some great stuff. Probably about 20 minutes is what you need on this. About 15 to 20 minutes, 400 degrees. We have a great meal that we can, I can smell it on my fingers already. So it's going to be good. All right, so stick in there. Hang in there. We're almost done. We're going to come to the home stretch in just about two seconds. Now what we need to do, we, we're going to top these things a little bit and give a little bit of some of that cheesy flavor that I love. I know you guys love on some uh, fajitas, on your tacos and all that. So let's take them out and get a first look. Ooh, as in little Ma would say, ooh, looks good. So now I'm just going to take some shredded cheese, 2% wise. I'm just going to really just sprinkle it on there. Don't have to worry, it's going to get on the mat. It's fine, that's what they make the mat for. Sprinkle it across. Then let that melt down. And these bad boys are basically done and ready to be consumed. So in the oven you go. So again, another recipe that was quick, fast, no excuses about not getting into the kitchen, not being able to food prep. These things are quick, simple, and easy to make, and they're gonna taste good. So give it a couple of minutes and we'll see how they taste. There we go. And right onto our plate. Look nice and firm. Chicken isn't moving, so again, this is a meal that you can eat right with your hand if choose to. That's why I put that over here to the side. So, with that said, another meal complete in the books. Another easy, easy recipe, and you'll see that I add a little over here. Add a little uh, uh, salsa with some tomato, red onion, some yellow uh, corn, as you see, and a little bit of beans. Beans make you fart; they make you smart. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Weight loss always starts in the kitchen. It's your boy Roxanne. Peace. And I'm going to dig into this on my own in just a couple minutes because it's way too hot right now. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.